Good morning, everyone. Today is the 4th of June. We're with the family right now. Everybody, hi. Yes, and we are headed for our cruise to Mexico, Jamaica, uh, the Bahamas, Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. and what's the other place? The Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. So we're so excited. Um, we just went through all the customs, security, TSA, things like that, and now we are waiting at our gate. We're two hours early. <laughs> we got literally to our spot two hours early, so we got through everything in like within like what, like an hour? Yeah, you go to one hour. So now Everybody we're... Everybody got through safe. Nobody yeah. had anything illegal. Nobody had anything illegal this time. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> but we're just, uh, we're just chilling at the gate. We're gonna go get something to eat soon, and I will update you guys soon. We're gonna land in Miami where there is a severe uh, tropical storm. And uh, thankfully the cyclone's gone now, so... <laughs> Come to airplane yoga class. Okay, let's go. Up, up, stretch them. Stretch your arms up. Lean to your right. Stretch it. Stretch those obliques. Come on. I'm going to explain everything to you guys in a little bit, but we are currently not going on our cruise, but I'm going to explain everything to you guys, but first we're going to go get food because we haven't eaten since 8 a.m. and we're very hungry and it's currently like 7 p.m. I don't even know what time it is. We, we're in Miami. We ordered pizza from this guy named Tony and it's been like an hour and 20 minutes and our pizza's still not here, so we're just going to go to the lounge down here. Oh, and there is a bird in the building. All right, guys, so we're sitting in a <coughs> hotel. Remember the start of the day, you were like, hey, I know, guys. Okay, here's just a little rundown of what happened. So we basically got on our flight. Um, there was a tropical storm in Miami, and so we weren't allowed to land. And so, by the way, Kenna's really sick. So <laughs> it's just a really good time. Basically, we landed, or we went to go land. They said we couldn't land because there's a tropical storm in Miami. So we flew around the air for like, what, like 30 minutes. And then they were like, we're just gonna go to Fort Myers. So we went to Fort Myers, landed, refueled. By the time we could go up there, they were like, okay, it's 20 minutes to get to Miami. So we got to Miami by 2.20. We were supposed to get there by noon. So we got to Miami by 2.20, rushed so fast to find our luggage. We got to the baggage claim. We went all around the airport trying to find our luggage. We got there and nothing was coming. We waited 45 minutes and our luggage finally came out. By the way, we had to be 
at the terminal to board the cruise by two. That was the original plan. But then I called and he was like, oh no, you can be there by three. So we were rushing to get there by three. And then I called again while we waited for our luggage and they're like, four, four, you can make it by four. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. So finally it's like 3.30 or something and we're getting an Uber, rushing to the terminal. We get there and we see people waiting in line to embark. So we're like so excited running. And then we get there and realize everyone's actually screaming because they won't let them on. And they basically slammed the doors in our face and said, you're too late. So then we ordered a pizza and it's not coming. Uh, <laughs> we ordered it like an hour and 20 minutes ago. It's not coming. We found a hotel. Uh, it's in a really not nice area. It's kind of scary. Um, but through it all, we met some very nice people. Uh, people were really nice to us. We're hopefully going to an Airbnb tomorrow. Um, the person I'm talking to right now on Airbnb is nice, so we'll see how this goes. My dad hasn't really cried that much. But, we, but oh, he didn't cry. He just had a little, he just had a face that looked like he was gonna cry, but he was thinking about it. Uh, my sister and I were crying at the gates. Uh, they didn't care. <laughs> But anyways, we were really depressed and now we're starting to feel a little more hopeful, but we still feel like crap. So, um, I won't show you Kenna because I don't want her to get upset, but she does not feel good. So, uh, please say a prayer that we make it to our Airbnb. Hey, look at my portrait. Oh yeah. My portrait, Kenna. Um, it's just very sad because this is the first uh, trip with my dad that we've ever had besides like Mississippi to see our family. So we've been looking forward to it and uh, it was just kind of pretty sad that we couldn't actually do it and we've been planning it for like a full year. So we plan we literally booked the cruise June 3rd, a year ago. So um, oh, it's just a fun much. time. Okay guys, we made it back to the room. Let me show you how sketchy it is. You guys are probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, you must be used to fancy stuff, but I'm not. And I'm gonna like show you like why it's sketchy first thing you notice is uh no evacuation, no evacuation plan um some some dinged up scratches maybe a bullet hole we don't know two bullet holes <laughs> um a very very loose door that actually was opening uh you walk in here and it actually doesn't look too bad on camera um especially with the lights on but this is really uh thin they give you two flat pillows um, kind of like weird material. Um, very itchy in here, very humid. Some weird stuff on the walls. Uh, they gave us a Skateland pizza also. I feel like everything looks better on this camera right now. It's humid in here, same like bed thing. Um, a weird dynamic here. <laughs> Here's me, just chilling. I've been living my best life. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit weird. But okay, I will have to admit in the camera, it looks a lot better than it does in real life. So you guys are gonna be watching this and be like, wow, you guys complain a lot. But it's just interesting.